Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Atom RPG. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today here in the Chamber of Commerce as we uh, loot as much as we can uh, and talk to as many people as we can and also gain experience. I need to look at how um, how close it is, or close I am to, uh, ooh, lovely place here. Grenades, that grenade is very expensive. Uh, how close I am, ooh, and also uh, the 12 gauge. Did it? That's not... Okay, 12 gauge rounds. Right, right. I thought I thought I read 12 gauges. And that's one novel way of, of, of uh, talking about shotgun shells. And we got some wires out of this. And experience, more importantly. And our level up situation is... Not too bad, actually. Not too bad. If things keep us they going in a couple of episodes, we're going to get another level. And I like that. Um, well, actually, if things keep us they going in this episode, we're going to get a lot of, another level. No, it's only eight experience points. What I really want is the uh, is the uh, coffee machines or whatever the hell that uh, that is, because those are the ones that give me a bunch of experience for each. It's like killing a wolf or something. And we have some tea in here, as you do. Also, is that a typewriter? That is a typewriter. It's a very fancy typewriter. These things are the people are rich. These ones are. I had a typewriter. Well, my dad had a typewriter when I was a kid. Uh, did I talk to you? I did. His name is Boris. It's the same as mine. I'll take your waste paper. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see you there. Uh, you know how it is. Uh, well, I would love to be able to kill you. We can pickpocket. Yeah. Huh. He doesn't like it. A moustached city official uh, bends over several documents. When you come closer, he slowly backs away and lifts his gaze. Putting, uh, while putting his goose feather he used for writing aside. Yes, can I help you? Uh, can I ask you about your goose feather? Because that is one way... That's weird. That's that's weird. Um, I just want to... Uh, what are you doing here? I mean, you personally. We control the bureaucratic processes here in Krasnoz, not many, and surrounding areas. Personally, I work with currency control. Is that a problematic position? Well, not really. Sometimes new scams appear that uh, threaten all of the wastes. Oh, we're back to that. Okay. The, the last big attempt at uh, destroying the economy happened b uh, way back in the 90s, when some people tried to start using pine cones, rocks, bottle caps, and other kinds of garbage instead of currency. You do realize that that would be the currency. So it's not instead of, is it's as currency. But of course, he wouldn't want that because he's the one that uh, controls the currency. He's He literally said it. Yeah. Um, so what's your job all about? Well, known regions of the wasteland still use pre-war rubles. But it's actually... Uh, but it's... Uh, that's the wrong... Uh, it. But its actual price is different in every other region. The fact that we don't have a golden standard doesn't help. A golden standard? Oh, right. Um, it's not golden standard. It's the, the gold standard. And uh, I'm pretty sure by the 1980s you already didn't have the gold standard. N like, the gold standard hasn't existed in decades and decades. Also, the gold standard is just another... It's not. It's not like you're not tying it to a real currents or anything of real worth because gold doesn't have real worth it's only the worth that we assign to it much like the standard anything is it's just it's all the only it's not like the it's not like but no it's not even the the petroleum standard because petroleum or f oil anyway uh, has real usage so it has a real market value gold doesn't have any usage well it does but it's it that's not what gover governs its um it's use. Gold is just completely, completely made of value. Uh, it's just value based on, on how... What's the word? Scarce? Scarce, it is. Um, well, it's always like that, but the thing is, gold isn't used. Gold is just kept, and oil is used. It's not kept, and that's what I mean. Um, but anyway, I'm here to learn of the money costs in different lands so that our traders won't get scammed during some deal with the representatives of another country or region. You have other countries? I didn't know that. I am very surprised. Or did I know that? They have talked like this about other... It just feels very out of place when they do. And honestly, this feels very out of place. 
that you wouldn't have exchange. Is all I'm saying. You would have your money, and you'd either want your money or you wouldn't. Uh, so uh, can I ask you a few questions? Oh well, I guess I can do that. Uh, wait, the, can I care to change the subject? Just a few questions to ask. Okay, sure. How's life in Krasnodar's the many? I'd advise you to talk with the head of propaganda about that. What? You want my personal opinion? Well, I think everything goes really smoothly. Under the grand leadership of the Chamber of Commerce, we reached great results, and soon, if I heard it correctly, that is, we will even be ready to rebuild communism. I might take a... It might take a, w a while, though. Yeah, I get the impression as well, with all the talk of, uh, of uh, bureaucracy and that, that these guys are supposed to represent the... Uh... Was Stalin the one in 1985? No, he wasn't. Was it Stalin? I don't know. The communist uh, regime uh, is... It, these guys are supposed to represent the communist regime of of, uh, of the pre-war era. Uh, and that's why there's this whole conversation about uh, the the big cats and, and the bureaucracy and, and corruption and all this sort of stuff. Because that's supposed to represent... Uh, that, that's, that's, I, I get the impression that it's written as the... As the anagram... Uh, not anagram. The analogy. Or sort of the corresponding part to the pre-war situation. Anything interesting goes on in the city? Interesting means unsafe nowadays, he says. This is why I'm happy to state that nothing interesting ever goes out on in our fine city. If you want adventure, head on straight to Paragon. Nothing right about that place. All messed up. Yeah, well, if it's anything like the thing I wanted Krasnos Nameni to be, this whole, you know, advanced and post-war futuristic civilization of not necessarily uh, cyberpunk or anything, but at least... A mixture of things, but no, you guys are just living in the 80s. Uh, any problems town has? Problems? None, as far as I know. Well, apart from the dancing plague epidemic that we had five years ago, did you know 400 people danced on the city streets for several days and nights until they dropped dead out of exhaustion, malnutrition, and slash or organ failure? He, he says slash out loud. Um, nobody knows why. Actually, he might not say slash out loud. Because you can... you do, People do say and or organ failure, even though it's n patently a written thing, the end slash or. Anyway, um, so any problems the town is so far? That said already, maybe rumors? Nope. Address some kind of a drinking establishment if you are interested in hearsay. Again, uh, we are a serious organization. I will not address an, an establishment, because that sounds like a pretty big hassle. How would I do that, even, logistically speaking? Okay. We haven't been back there. Oh, there's something going on. Vegetables from Otranoi by now. Oh, yeah. Uh, I could... Wait a minute. What's my carry situation? My carry situation is really good. I'm going to go downstairs and get more cabbages. Or potatoes. Or the other thing. Oh, I didn't... I clicked on things already. Yeah, I suppose... That's Stalin over there, isn't it? Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see you there, sir. Uh, Yeah, I really wish you weren't here. Ma'am, I suppose. Um, Open window, though. Yeah, I, I suppose... That would be Lenin. Not my Lenin, though. Where's my Lenin? There you are. Tadeus, right. Uh, and the other one would be Stalin. Um, I mean, it's also possible that he was dead at the time. I don't know history. I'm very bad. I'm so sorry. A tired and annoyed-looking woman of around 30. Oh, no! I was wrong! Or maybe this hasn't been done yet. Or I don't know. Sits at a desk, all the while calculating something using her abacus. The other one had a goose feather while sitting. They're, they all have... Writing machines. I suppose the writing machines are not there, really. They're just illusions for me as the player. Uh, and writing the results into a small notebook. After sh Not that a writing machine can do calculations, though, but still. After she notices you, she closes her notebook and then looks at you with a cold, unfriendly stare. I'm listening, she says. Um... He didn't get much days off. Oh, because she's looking tired, yeah. Uh, oh, I didn't ask to be a citizen. Uh, maybe, well, maybe I'm going to get lucky with her instead of the other dude. Uh, I can see by the way you look, you don't get much sleep uh, these days. The woman looks at uh, a small calendar on her desk. It's mostly covered in all sorts of papers. According to it, your conversational partner had her last rest 10 days ago. But And by your conversational partner, the narrator means she. She had her last rest 10 days ago. Uh, even though she doesn't say it, but I know that. You're only working 10 day... Oh. 
right. Um, this is the line where I just say that she shouldn't rest as much as she does. What a shitty s schedule. I'm sorry. Saying sorry won't buy me a bottle of wine. I can drink alone while lying in front of the TV during my only day off. But money for overworking sure will, she says. I don't know what that is supposed to be. Although I did get experience. So yes, thank you. Uh, I ca can I chat? Oh, sure. Taking to you, Talking to you is my new passion. What do you want? Oh, sarcasm. My favorite. How should I address you? Rada Genev... No, sorry. Gennad... Dievna. Radagana Dieva. Fourth level B rank. Well, interesting title. But I suppose fourth level B rank? I don't. It's, I, yeah, I don't know that. What do you uh, do for the Chamber of Commerce? I calculate. I plan budgets. I prepare payment documents. What else would a fourth level B rank official be doing? Bookkeeping? And she laughs. Yeah. So, how's life in Krasnos and Amani? Ah, stupid question. Why are you asking? Do I look like I lived somewhere else to compare? Are you planning to send me away from the city? What's your problem? Uh, rumors? They say the third department is going to be merged with the fifth. Thus, the Chamber of Commerce officials from the fifth will get a new rank letter. Although those of them who worked using the BA713 form will retain the old level. So now the third department will consist out of, uh will be made out of a third level A rank officials, third level secondary A rank officials, and U sub rank, and uh, thirdly first level U rank officials. It's much more logical that way, you see. Yes, another commentary on the wall bureaucracy thing. Um, and my character just says the wall nonsensical things. He says all the time when he goes back to the previous questions, I want to ask you uh, to make me a citizen of Krasnos and Amani. And she stares at you with a crazed gaze. And you come to pass it a 4th level B rank official with such a question? How would I help you b with becoming a citizen? It's not my job. Um, so where should I go then? You need to find a department of department location... The department of department location. There you must learn the location of my colleague who will tell you the name, level and rank of an official who accepts questions about finding the officials who have the grant to grant you citizenship. After an obligatory five workday wait, you will be transferred to the person with his knowledge. You can start by walking there. Thank you. It's very good. Um, wait. I said something. Can you point me there again? I wasn't looking, says my character. Which doesn't... The word would be I wasn't listening? Because her pointing wasn't literal pointing. She was just pointing it out with her voice. The woman points towards an uncertain direction again. It's no way the same it's no way the same location she was pointing to the first time. Yeah, sure. Again, commentary how bureaucracy uh, dehumanizes people and how trusting on uh, ah, there's uh, what's the word that I am also stuck in there. I'm not anymore. I was clicking over here, couldn't do anything. Uh, there's a word for that. I tried to think of it a couple of episodes ago and I can't think of it. Um, dang it, Air airplane uh, pilots have that, like for, for protocols, protocols is the word, freaking hell, I finally remembered it, yeah, trusting protocols instead of, uh, that's basically the bull commentary there, also salt, I don't need salt for anything, because salting food is irrelevant, it makes it less expensive, uh, so I'll sell salt, uh, I will ask this guy though, there's not a lot of people here, Hey, uh, you, yeah, that's good. So, I want to become a citizen? Ah, it's not my department. Try talking to another colleague of mine. I'm sure you'll find help with this matter quickly. Listen, amigo, this is useless. Getting something from the Krasnos and many bureaucracy, again, that's what I'm telling you, uh, is like hoping for it to rain in a desert. That may happen sometime, but it's doubtful you'll last for that long. Oh, that's completely unfair. We're working like a well-oiled mechanism. Which is what I was saying about the protocol. Um... It also, it's called machine. <laughs> a mechanism. What's that mechanism you have there? Oh, it's it's an abacus. Well, technically, a, it is a mechanism, but it's not necessarily a machine. I guess you could say it's a machine, an abacus. Eh, it depends on what center you live in. Uh, anyway, uh, moving on and leaving these guys. Uh, I talked to you already. Yes, you're the one that doesn't have a name. Um... There was this mission in, in uh, The Witcher 3. I think it was it might have been a uh, an expansion mission, or a mission in a DLC on an expansion or whatever. 
um, that had you basically going around a, a bank. And the commentary was basically the same. And it lasted way too long. And it was the most annoying mission ever. And it was just for a stupid joke. Because of like, haha, get it? Papers make you have to write them down. And especially because... Well, I didn't... Because it doesn't make sense. Especially because it doesn't make sense in a... In a... In a um, um, uh, medieval setting like The Witcher. Because uh, there's no bureaucracy in 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 medieval setting the reason why there are bu there's bureaucracy well bureaucracy mostly exists as a side or an offshoot of the rule of law as it were instead of having the rule of the ruler or the rule of, of uh, a specific caste uh, it, it where just you know you ask somebody and they either let you do something or they don't let you if you need to go through a whole process uh, to, through a wall protocol, that's because there's a law for it, there's because there's these wall things, and so a, bu a, bu a bureaucracy happens precisely because there are laws, and there are just things that are written down that are outside of the control of the people that you're dealing with, that's the whole thing, and that can be dehumanizing, and the commentary uh, for it, it can be centered, and should honestly be, in my opinion, should really, really be centered first and foremost about the de uh, on the dehumanization of the people that are in the system. And I'm sure that's the, and it looks like that is precisely the the commentary that this game is bringing forth. Um, but in The Witcher 3, it's just so annoying because it, it really was just a joke, and it didn't make sense in that system, and uh, and it took forever, and it was like, ugh, I hated it. So yeah, at least these ones are just you know the theme of the character, so it makes total sense in this game. Also, it makes even more sense because it's a commentary on the pre-war system, uh, which, as far as I can tell, was really really a lot about the bureaucracy uh, and I like that commentary about the mandatory five-day wait because um, that's a real thing uh, either either written into the law or as a, a systematic um, thing that there is necessarily a mandatory five-day wait even though it might not be written into the law that's really that that one was really clever I felt anyway a plump red-cheeked woman in her 30s looks at you with a mock reproach her arms and on her hips, head cocked to the one side. <clears throat> I'm sorry. What do you think you're doing inviting yourself into other people's homes like this? Looking for adventures? Oh, that's... I... <laughs> what do you mean, looking for adventures? Uh, that's... You don't look... What kind of adventures are we talking about here, ma'am? Hmm? Um, let's see. No, I'm just new to the city and trying to make new friends. Uh, forgive me, please. What if I'm actively looking? Uh, and I the woman up, which I believe is size the woman up, although it could also mean, uh, what's the word for, you know, when you're, uh, checking the woman out, that's the word, yeah, it could be either one of those, uh, and, uh, she's really pretty, so it could be, it could be that as well, she, I mean, she's being depicted as, as attractive, but then again, sometimes the portraits don't really fit, uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, so let's go with this one. It's sort of in the middle. So insolent! You should be ashamed of yourself! And she lowers her eyes. You wanted something? It, she, she has short-term memory issues. Um, an adventure or two. Yes, she is, uh, she is, uh... She might have been talking precisely about that sort of thing. I don't know. I uh, really wanted to chat, and she weighs up your words and finally smiles. Oh, you've got me while I was ge getting bored out of my wits. Please, let's talk. Um, so what's your name? If you don't mind my asking. Oh, look at that. Maybe that's the, maybe that's the difference, because it's not the wall, if it's not a secret. Oh, I'm not really keen on giving my personal details out, she says. And also, if you don't mind my asking, is precisely the, what you would say in English. What would it be in Portuguese? I guess it wouldn't be completely out of, I'm wondering now, because the languages are, the difference between languages is something that fascinates me, and I like it. Uh, I think this wouldn't be out of place if you asked this in Portuguese. But normally, you just you just ask if you don't mind, or the translation would be if you don't mind. So we would say, it, "What's your name?" If you don't mind, and if you translate it literally, it doesn't make sense. It's weird. It's awkward, um, and that's precisely the case with the. Well, it's not if it's not a secret. It's not that it, the whole thing about the secret was uh, 
awkward. It's just the repeating of it kind of hinted at uh, it being the way you say it in Russian. Uh, anyway, I'm not really keen on giving my personal details out. My name is Borislava Ivanovna, or just Boria, or Slava, and yours? Uh, Boris. Nice to meet you. My husband has the same name. Oh, I met your husband. Uh, even though I'm going to ask you who he is. Uh, that is confidential, she says. The woman gives you a playful smile but says no more. I wonder what that is. If that's that, if it's that smile, I suppose that is playful. Um, come on, I'm your friend. Your secret will be safe with me. And she says, all right, you've convinced me. He's a guard at the bank, uh, bunker of the Chamber of Commerce. He loves me, I know. He worries about me. He's always worried, but he has less and less time for me. Uh, was he uh, downstairs? Huh. Okay, what do you do usually? You know, you know it already. Just busy with a household. Getting bored, really. Yeah, it's not very busy then. Uh, tell me about this city. There have been many tourists coming recently. The woman doesn't look at you, but rather through you, as she says that, probably scrutinizing the past only she can see. Uh, scrutinizing. I wonder what that means. I mean, I know what the word means. I wonder what it's intended to mean, because it's like, you don't scrutinize the past. That's not, you know, you scrutinize the, the work of somebody else. Um, have you heard any interesting rumors? Nothing but utter horrors, she says. You probably like spooky stories, but I have to sleep alone most days of the week after I hear about worms that get under your skin through your private parts, about her Hesperus star, and, or the Hesperus star, and the creepy tunnel right here in the area. I, uh, it's not right here if it's in the area. I suppose right here in the city would be a better one. It's around here in the area. Anyway, I barely st st stif stifle the desire to run to my neighbors with many O's for comfort. Don't even start. I won't. Um, okay. Well, bye. No, it's, uh, bye. Yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna help you with the wall non-board thing. Can I take your stuff, though? I'm sure that's not gonna be boring. I can't. She says I'm a thief. At least she uses three dots on her ellipses, so I'm good with that. Did I ever... Uh, somebody pointed it out in the third episode. I, uh, many weeks after the third episode went up. But somebody pointed it out. Why this happens. Uh, and I looked into it. I don't think I talked about it in the, in the Let's Play. So I'll talk a lot about it in... The, Eventually. Dooman with short gray hair slowly walks around the city. When she sees you, she crosses her arms on her chest and looks at you kindly with sincere interest in her gaze. Another traveler walks our streets. This one looks like he's searching for someone or something. Those shoes, that military grace in your step. <laughs> military grace. You're the second person with that gaze that I've met in recent times. Yeah, you met Fidel after that? Yeah. So when will the third one come over? It's right there, maybe. I don't know. Uh, who was the first one, and why do you expect a third? Haven't you noticed that things in our world come in threes? Either it's a gang with three leaders, or the local lone shark who has three people in debt, or that time I, it turned out that three veterans of the last war live somewhere in the city. And that's not nearly all. You better not, because you're not saying that I have three nipples, three ears, three eyes. I... What? What? Uh, also, what I was saying about the happening is the ellipses thing with a question mark. I'll, I'll comment on it when... Um, or an exclamation mark, either. When it happens, because I missed the opportunity to say it. But I'll talk about it. Uh, so, it really is a mystery. I wanna dig, don't want to dig too deeply. I want to ask about... Yeah, who the... Yeah, isn't it the... Who was the first one? I asked who was the first one, and she didn't answer. I'm going to ask it again. Not that long ago, I was walking home from the Chamber of Commerce late at night when I saw a tough-looking military man in, with a submachine gun in his arms. He had such queer mannerisms, as if he was just back from a military drill, even though the military doesn't even exist anymore. You have those too, you know? He said hello to me as he passed by, stopped near a fence, and lit a ciggy. I rounded a corner, but instead of going home, I started watching that man. Don't really know why. He smoked for a while, and then he entered the Mushroom Cult building, or the Mycelium Society, as they call themselves. Never seen anything after that. No, never seen him after that, but I remember him very well for some reason. Oh, well, that's very good to know, though, because uh, I will have to go there. Who are you? What can you tell me about yourself? My name is Clavdia. That's a pretty name. 
Actually, it's Claudia. Clavdi Claudia is an okay name. I know some Claudias. Not pronounced like that, mind you. And it's certainly not with a K. Uh, the Clavdia was a fancy name. It's a, I, I like that better. It's Claudia. Her name is Claudia. Uh, and I'm just a simple city dweller. I don't even have a job. Those walks I take from time to time are good. Are all I'm good for nowadays, she says. Um, also, it's interesting. I hear some people... I don't know what languages or in what native languages they have, though. I always thought it was like Austrians uh, or, or Swiss... Swisses? Is that the word for people from Switzerland? Although I don't hear many people from Switzerland. Um, but like Austria, maybe... Maybe uh, Hungary. People pronounce the V sound in English, in specific, as a U sound. And I always thought it's like the Germans that pronounce W as a V. That's in their language. Um, and um, and it influences the way they, they say the W. Like, what? What? What is this? Uh, or, or this as well. I think, is, this, is it the Spanish that do the TH? No, the Spanish don't don't have th in their language um is it the french no the french doesn't have th either but i think they might say z -z for the th sound i don't know it's just one of those things you learn you grow up learning all the sounds that you have in your language you don't learn the other sounds it's like in arabic having the four different h sounds that are like and all that sort of stuff that's really hard for it makes it one of the hardest languages to, to speak properly um it's not that english doesn't have the same issues, mind you, because, like, for example, the E sound, having two E's or having an I, like, for example, fit and feet is is two different sounds, but to a person that can't pronounce those dif two different sounds or does, is not aware of the distinction because their language doesn't make a distinction, uh, the, the, you know, like, you have fit, fit, or, or the other way around, you have fit, fit, f fit, fit, f feet, fit, feet, you know what I mean? It's, you might not know what I mean. See, the distinction is tricky, because uh, F-I-T is pronounced differently from F-E-E-T. Um, I also didn't pronounce it properly all the time, so, yeah, just make it make it sound even harder to, uh, to distinguish what I'm talking about. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Is Russian... Does Russian say U instead of V? Because that would be how Latin uh, works, because uh, Latin has the, the V instead of U. They just don't have the U. Uh, but the thing is, all their V's are pronounced U's, at least in reconstructed Latin. Eventually, the, um, or that is the original Latin, or at least our understanding of the original Latin. Because uh, then, of course, the ecclesiastical Latin, you know, corrupted a bunch of, of um, over the years of, of usage, corrupted a bunch of the way it's said, and then the V eventually became V. Um, and and then they had to build, build distinctions, and it's all a big, a big weird thing. Um... So, for how long do you have you lived out here? I live here for as long as this place exists. I And I lived here even before that, when it was just a simple Soviet city. I lived here for so long, I'm about to spurt actual roots, you know? Ha, ah, the, the jokes. Um, then my character, I'm sure, said something absolutely hilarious. What do you do for a living? She gives you a sad smile. I'm pretty lucky. You know, back in the day, aspiring politicians took wives to fortify their character. C not characters. Careers. Although it would be pretty interesting if it were indeed fortify their characters. Because if only if only the world were like that, that's, that's an interesting thing. Uh, but no, it's to fortify their careers, which is weird. Although, probably, I don't know, you could, you could take that multiple ways. Do they mean taking wives as a sign of status? Uh, do they mean taking wives so they can just uh, use them to uh, to take care of their own homes so they don't have to spend time taking care of their own homes and, and can dedicate more time to the careers? That's another that's another way of looking at it. Uh, or do you mean as advisors? Because that would be also interesting. I don't know how Soviet Russia did it. Huh. Because uh, Russia, as far as I'm led to believe, um, has... Um, at least, at least it had in in the origins of a revolution back in the in the the nineteen tens um, a very uh, I'm I'm gonna say egalitarian although that word might mean different things uh, and might have meant different things back then I am I'm not really sure if that's the correct word but at least in in regards to to bringing and propping up um, women 
and their uh, rights and their stance in society uh, in comparison to the czars. I don't know if it's czars or czars. I'm not really sure, but at least to the ones that they came before. So the White Revolution was also, also had that that aspect of uh, emancipation. Um, and um, so I, I, the, the problem, of course, is that, you know, that, that aspect was in the 1910s and then the evolution of that uh, attitude might have gone in wildly different ways. Um, it, so I don't know how the Soviet, uh, Soviet Russia did it uh, in regards to the attitude of two women. It's, uh, it's at least being depicted as a very, as still a very patriarchal society here in this game. So I suspect it was basically the same thing. Also, it, it wouldn't surprise me anyway. But it doesn't mean that it, the the work wasn't put there to to at least try to uh, address some of the inequalities that existed with the Tsar, Tsar, whatever that came before. I don't know. Anyway, but their passion, she says, their love and adoration, kept. What? Wait. But their passion, their love and adoration, they kept. For their mistresses, there should be a comma so I could know that they they kept their passion. It's a it's an interesting way of writing things. I like it. Uh, in the old world, I became a concubine for one such dedicated man who held on to his power even after the bombs fell. Although we have no passion for each other anymore, we are still very good friends. That friendship will never die. That's really interesting. For those around me, she says, I'm a sad old cat lady who has a stash of old money and leave and uh, leaves off of it. But I had love in my life, and I had amazing gifts and great times, and even now I have a dear friend who helps me, who sometimes visits me so we can sit down and remember our youth together. I know what you mean. But enough about that. I'm too old. Uh, I, I told too much already. Um, what did I ask? What was that all about? What do you do for a living? Yeah. Rumors? No. Th dang it. Uh, I'm not into rumors, unlike my good old my good friend Yegoria, which she just now revealed who it was. Better talk to her. No, it's uh, 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 the, uh, another official, unless, or maybe I don't know Yegoria. Anyway, better talk to her about those. I'm more like my uh, I'm more like my other friend Rita. She is a calm person who takes no interest in hearsay. Just takes care of her home and her husband Tadeus. He's one lucky man, you know. I'm sure he is. Well. That's going to be that for today, because we're out of time. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Atom RPG. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.